Sega. Okay then, it's war, anime war, which is the best kind of war. So this game, I have never finished this game. I've played it quite a bit. I'm going to press the start button. We're going to check our options first. Oh, load game. No, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be starting a fresh save. But first, I want to check a couple of things. That's all fine, that's all fine, yes we want subtitles, and we're going to be using Japanese. Now I know that there is a debate on whether uh, there should be Japanese or English speech. I'm also going to turn the volume down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. There we go, that'll do. Oh, so professional. Doing his settings at the start of the stream. Ooh. But the dub on this one ain't great. Um, it's passable, it's serviceable, but uh, as a non-native Japanese, you know, not, I don't speak Japanese. Tried to learn it. Uh, I don't know it uh, intimately enough to be able to tell when someone's acting badly in it. Well, sometimes you can, but. Uh, We're going to give it a go. So, we're starting a new game. Seleki千九百三十五年。ヨーロッパ大陸は東西二つの大国によって分断されていた。すなわち皇帝を頂点とした専制君主国家。東ヨーロッパ帝国連合と王政を廃した共和国国家の連合体大西洋連邦機構である鉱物資源ラグナイトをめぐり勢力争いを広げる両国はついに開戦大陸は戦争の炎に包まれることとなった第二次ヨーロ
侵攻を開始その矛先は連邦のみならず周辺諸国へも向けられたガリア公国帝国と連邦の中間に位置し武装中立を国是とする自然豊かな小国家であるしかしその豊富なラグナイト資源を奪わんとする帝国はガリア公国に戦線を布告雪崩を打ってその領内へと進撃を開始した OK 序章開戦 So this is basically oh yeah Lovely. This is basically not World War II, where not Germany is invading not the rest of Western Europe, and we are not Switzerland, who's going to be dragged into the war uh, by invasions. Or maybe we're not Belgium. Uh, either way, we are painting in broad strokes, and that's not a pun based on the really quite pretty uh, painterly cell shading graphics of this game. Um... Yeah, this is definitely a World War II allegory uh, told by a, a Japanese studio. Um, and not to get skirting a little bit too close to the dreaded politics, uh, Japan have a patchy track record with um, talking about the Second World War. Uh, but this is the European Front, and it's pretty well known, you know. Um, so let's see what we've got here. Now this is a um, a Japanese take on the tactical RPG, so there's going to be a lot of cutscenes uh, and a lot of story uh, and characters to sort of keep a track on. Um, and we'll get into the mechanics as we as we approach them. So well, let's go ahead and view this episode. Ah, oh, so idyllic. 西暦1935年3月ガリア公国国境の町ブルール帝国と国境を隔てたブルールの人々は戦火を恐れ次々と町を脱出し始めていた。この道を通るのも三年ぶりか。懐かしいな。お、あれは、もしかして。Oh boy。やっぱり光りますじゃないか。Alright man, they just fish。光りますが川を遡る季節なんだな。So this is our hero, Lieutenant Commander Milk Toast. And this is Gunther Welkin. Welkin. <laughs> <笑>君たちは我々はブルールの自警団の者です私は分隊長のアリシア最近帝国のスパイがうろついているという情報があって見回りをしてたんだけどあ信じてもらえると嬉しいんだけど僕は単に魚のスケッチをしていただけでそこ
introduction to this character, but as you'll see, she's conscripted into the town militia. She's kind of responsible for things, is Alicia. And uh, yeah, a strange guy you don't know taking notes when there's an invading army coming forward. I'd hold him up at gunpoint as well, though I would have shouldered that rifle rather than holding it at the hip. And we'll view this episode too. あなた、絵が上手なのね。だから、魚のスケッチをしていただけなんだって。いえ。これだって新種の暗号かもしれない。じっくり調べさせてもらいます。Now あなたは確かギュンター将軍のはい、ギュンターの娘のイサラです。まだ疎開してなかったの？はい、兄が今日迎えに来てくれることになっていたんです。その兄というのが今そこで拘束されている人です。え？ごめんなさい。メモを取っているのが見えたからつい<笑> So Come on man, get your eye behind those iron sights. You're not gonna hit anything shooting like that. Now, I'm not a military expert, and again, I'm actually <laughs> I'm legally blind, but I have shot a gun or two since I live in Texas. Um, so, having been taught how to handle a firearm, it's kind of frustrating watching people who are supposed to be soldiers shooting from the hip. I mean, it's like... What's the point? Uh, nitpicking about uh, shooting stance aside, that little cutscene is an encapsulation of what this game's all about. It dials down on some of the sort of harshest harsh parts of war, like there's not blood or anything, but it doesn't shy away from it particularly in certain aspects. Like you just saw civilians get gunned down by an invading force. Um, this does want to tell, at least in the broader sense, a relatively grounded war story, at least in some of the bigger picture. Now, it's going to go real anime in a lot of places. And, again, you saw that in the cutscene, the tropes coming out, the uh, the, the little sister who's not really his sister, -ha 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 -ha, might have a bit, bit of crush on Oni-san there. Um... And like the, 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 the hometown girl, Bitsundere, you know. We're going to be dealing with a lot of that as well. So you'll see the, the anime tropes coming out. But uh, they're not that distracting. They should be okay. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, I can save the game with the Y button. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good port. So I might as well do what it says. I'll save. Ooh, shh, don't look at those. Um, we'll create a new save game. Okay. Now this will be our actual first combat encounter. So let's dig in.
Okay. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. So you're given victory and failure conditions. Now, failure conditions often go along these routes. Uh, main characters must stay alive. And the death and death mechanics will be explained in future tutorials. Um, and missions are on a time limit. So what you'll be seeing now is that the game is kind of a bit like XCOM. Uh, if you've played an XCOM game, it's turn-based. Let's get her done. Be careful as you fight. Yes, ma'am. Um, so we're going to... I think, yes, we don't get to deploy. Uh, we're just given our starting position. Only good imps are dead imp. Command points. Yep. So this is your AP, your command points, your you know movement. Certain things take more than one, and depending on the characters you have in your squad and certain other conditions, uh, determine how many you have to play with. Yep, so you know, we'll use our command points to play at the top of the screen. Reflect your ability as a commander. Ooh, I do like having my abilities uh, measured in numerical value. Shows me how much of a loser I am. Yep, control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see all this. You have three CP. You can issue instructions to your units three times. Yes, you can. Let's try my moving a unit now. Yes, let's. That sounds like a great idea. Often you'll get first turn. And we're basically all the same. Now you'll see down here, uh, you'll see an HP. And that orange bar is their movement bar. And it will likely give you a, uh explanation of that later in the tutorial. And that little stamp next to their name, that's their um, unit type class. Which means everyone here is a scout. Which means they have long uh, range, they can move a lot, uh, though they have relatively weak firepower because of the uh, weaponry that they can carry. So, let's take our amateur biologist and see how far we can move him up. Action points. Use CP to select a unit in command mode and you'll be placed into action mode. Where you can freely move the unit until uh, you select it around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents that unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keeping an eye on the unit's remaining AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. Damn straight, you do not want to be <laughs> caught out in the open uh, in one of these games. For now, use the L stick to move to near the sandbags. So it's going to handhold me through this. You can use the uh, other stick to look at the camera. Those lines going off uh, indicate the en enemies uh, on the map where they are. That does it uh, prove useful that it only shows you the ones that you can see that you have line of sight on? Okay. You can change your weapon with the X button. But I don't have any other weapons of, uh, equipped. So let's do what they say. Running, 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 running. Now this guy's going to start shooting at me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. About attacking. Press the right bumper button to enter target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with their currently selected weapon. 
use the left stick to move the crosshairs onto an enemy and then use the bumper button to switch between targets. Enemies will not attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing A to fire. Um, getting into target mode as quickly as possible once you are under fire is critical. You'll see it later in the game that this is the only sort of one of the only times you're sort of safe on the battlefield. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to centre it on the entire target. So yeah, a bit of a risk and reward. Um, shots to the head or other weak points will result in great damage. So yeah, uh, going for headshots is good, but if you aim the crosshairs at the head, you're obviously using or leaving more of the circle outside of the silhouette of the target, and you are more likely to miss your shots. You can only attack from target mode once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. So if it survives your attack, they may launch a counter-attack. Yeah, they will shoot back. A damage unit may not have the hit points to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful in planning your attack. Yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting stuff. But first, we're going to move here and press the A button to crouch, because that means we're all going to be in cover. And that means that if guy, this guy shoots back at me, I'll automatically take cover. Okay, so we'll just aim center mass. Now you've got this thing up at the top, top middle. You need to hit it seven times with this weapon to kill it. Shots five. Uh, my weapon is effective against personnel, but does not uh, do well against armored targets and is direct fire. It is not an area of effect weapon it's a rifle so let's give it some shootings so everything hit why didn't you duck <sighs> about ending actions you zero remaining AP is already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further Press the B button to end their current action. Again, you want to do this quickly because anytime you're out in the open and an enemy can see you in uh, action mode, they'll just be continually shooting at you and every time they hit you, they take off uh, health points. So you've got to be pretty decisive when you're moving your troops around. When returning to command mode, will you be able to select the next unit you wish to direct? You can press B and enter units action even if they have not attacked and still have AP. Let's do that now, oh, real quick. Like, as you can see, I've got two thirds of my AP bar left. I could move more, but there's not really much point. Uh, if I try and move forward, he'll just shoot me. So, we'll end the action. Okay, let's get Alicia up here. Okay, now you see how he's shooting at me, we're going to take our cover, we're going to get our crosshairs over centre mass, and we're going to fire. There we go, and he's down. Now because she has AP left, I'm going to move her, I'm going to see if I can get to... Oh. I already know how to do this, but obviously. <laughs> About using cover. Get to those sandbags. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Press A to take cover behind them. When only one cover, units are harder to target. Take less damage and are immune to headshots and critical damage. As you saw, Welkin t literally took bullets straight to the face and didn't really flinch that much. Uh, you are Im immune to headshots. This is a... Uh, an abstraction for the tactics of the game, obviously. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by any attacks can be easy to hit and could take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your actions safely, hiding from harm. Do so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Gallia! Mayhap. Now, I've got about half my movement. I don't know whether I can actually make it that far. Let's see here. Am I going to be able to make it? I think I might just be able to get to the edge of cover there. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. So I could either move this dude up. He won't make it to that cover with his single movement, I don't think. Um, now you'll notice that I can reselect Welkin. And uh, and move him again, but he has reduced AP every time you select a unit. Again, in the same turn, they have the turn they have less AP. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reselect Alicia, and I'm going to try and start taking some shots at the guy in front of me. So she's in cover, he's in the open, and we're going to see if we can take him out, or at least take him down a little bit. So he's down to 3 health, he will shoot back and not do much damage because I'm in cover. We're going to end the current action, which will end our turn. Yep, about end of your phase. When your CP reaches 0, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player enemy phase constitutes a single turn. The fewer turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and experience you'll receive at the end. But being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to find a challenging balance. A challenging challenge. So yeah, they want you to, you know, you've got to do things quickly. The, the faster you can do things, the better. Now you might think, oh no, you've left her stranded out there with no cover, or no covering fire. But, hopefully, you'll see what's going to happen. Fingers crossed. So he's going to come running up, and as soon as he gets into range, yep, at least she's going to start taking pot shots. So she uh, took a crack at him and gets to shoot back. He's nearly dead. Then his buddy's going to come, immediately get shot, try and shoot her. She's going to shoot back. He's going to die, because I already took him down. And we've already taken out two thirds of their men. And now it's our turn. So, using CP effectively. When used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times, as we've just seen. In our instance, a pool of three CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row, perfect for cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> if you use the cancel button to end your phase with CP still remaining, those CP will be carried over to the next turn. So yeah, you can you can uh, sort of essentially go into Overwatch, like hunker down, get into a defensive position, let the enemy come to you. But remember, you are on the clock. CP are a precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. I don't believe in fate. Right. So Alicia's going to uh, commando this. We're going to stay right here and we're going to get back into cover. And we're going to take this guy out. Bang bang, motherfucker. And there we go. Two turns. And we'll see how I did. So you get this screen at the end. B rank. So, I don't know how you're supposed to get an A, or uh, I think it was probably an S rank as well. Uh, but anyway, that'll do. So, it's 200 experience and 500, I'm assuming, ducats. And we have a new episode. So let's see what the aftermath of the battle is, or the aftermath of the uh, the skirmish. Alicia, Taito, Shui, Nima, Teki no Sugata wa miete arimasen. So, hiki tsuzuki, keikai o gen ni shite kudasai. 
埋葬してあげて戦争は始まってしまったこの町の人たちを守るには私には戦うしか方法はないの粉雪草の種だ小さいけれど白く綺麗な花を咲かせるんだよこの戦争を振り返った時に思い出したいの命を奪い合っていただけじゃないってこと新しい命だってこの時代に生まれた、uh, that come after. 西暦1935年3月15日帝国はガリア公国に宣戦線を布告その領内に怒涛のごとく侵攻を開始した、okay. 第二次ヨーロッパ大戦のほんの小戦線に過ぎないと思われたこの地の戦いで人々は目撃した、Spoilers. 小国が圧倒的な軍事大国を退けた奇跡的な勝利を Yeah. 私の中に埋もれていた光と影勇気と友情迫害と偏見をそして戦火の中に生まれた愛の感動これは7ヶ月に及んだその戦いの記録であるWhat a lovely idyllic town. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. My platoon commander can't possibly be this cute. Isara, so I know Jumbia Sunder. Hi, Nichio Hinga no Nizukri was Sunday Mas. I need a second suitcase to fit all of the porn in. Take a good at Chikazite Ryodakra. He got created my new Bururu Tato. There's whelks. That was one of the things that put me off the、uh, the English translation. They're trying to transliterate the 
honorifics. So she's calling him Nissan. She's literally calling him brother or bro, you know, like a familial brother. Um, but is it like giving him a pet name? Welts? Welcome, <laughs> Welcome, like little little boy Welkin, like kiddo, you know, Welkies, little Welkies, so awkward. Masa sa, botcha wa nai daro. Boka mo 22 sai ni naru nda yo. Sore ni hashitta ra abu nai yo. Mo sugu aka chan ga umareru nda ro. So yeah, I mean, I can take it. I can take some uh, some shots at the transliteration and some of the choices in the localization. But a little spud, fantastic. Because what are babies if not potatoes? They come out and they're sort of wrinkly and a little bit hairy, and they've got some eyes, and they just sort of sit there. <laughs> She still thinks you're a spy. Yeah, so she's not. She's the girl next door. She's the 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 fam, the friend, the hometown friend. Not exactly the the archetypical tsundere. Uh, thing apart from at the start, but she was like I said, just doing her job. あたしね、パン屋に住み込みで働いているの。戦争が始まってからはお店は休業中なんだけどね。保存食用の硬いパンだから、ちゃんと調理して食べてね。私の手作りだから味は保証するよ。すっごく美味しいんだから。ありがと
ちいったことを聞いちゃったかな。いいえ、気にしないでください。二人とも私の大切な父ですから。そっか、そうだよね。この時間、私、そろそろ失礼しますね。Before I go, let me strike a JoJo pose. 兄さん、アリシアさんを送ってあげてください。残っている荷物は私たちがまとめておきますから。Yeah, Welkin, why don't you try and at least get some tail before you reach 30? <laughs> oh man, yeah, wouldn't it be embarrassing if someone was a virgin until they were 30 years old? <laughs> Not speaking from personal experience or anything. Anyway, Arigato. The Arisha could take you. Got so some of the stuff. So, yeah, stress was it. Happy trails. So, yeah, um, that's a theme through this, uh, the allegory for um, racial discrimination and essentially the persecution of the Jews in World War II, um, is what's called the Darksons. You'll see more of this later in the story. Um, but it being a Japanese game, the Darksons are uh, black-haired, dark-eyed, um, and are often uh, known to be excellent technicians and engineers. As you see, her biological father built this guy's tank, which you'll find out in a short while is a pretty serious piece of kit. Um, so, yeah, it's basically, what if the Jews were actually Japanese? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah... Okay. Slightly uncomfortable, but you know, we'll roll with it. この通りも大分寂しくなってしまったね。帝国との緊張が高まってから、ほとんどの人がブルールを離れちゃったんだ。ブルールから人がいなくなるのは寂しいことだけど。いつかみんなが安心してふるさとに帰れるように私たち自警団がブルールを守らなくちゃね。うん。ウェルキンはお父さんのように軍人にはならないの？うん。僕は軍人ではな
ここは私たちで食い止めましょう敵は風車塔広場にいるようだ僕も手伝うよミルキーありがとうさあ行きましょう Okay, so it's the second wave. And yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, isn't it lovely here? Isn't the windmill so beautiful? Oh, you know, you saw it coming a mile off. But again, they're not really showing away from the, the sort of horrors of war, the death and the destruction. Though, again, the Imperials are very, very much painted in as, as the bad guys, which is not too bad. I mean, like, the... The Nazi Party and the and the Wehrmacht and all that kind of stuff, you know, were they were individual people. I'm sure there's plenty of normal German people and German soldiers who were just getting on with it, didn't really agree with what was going on, but didn't have much choice. I'm not going to get into the ethics of that. Um, uh, but yeah, that, it was a pretty bad machine. But they really do turn it up to 11 in this game. It's like we're just going to start shooting civilians because we're evil. Um, not really the most nuanced. Uh, uh, depiction. Um, the gold standard of a depiction of war in, in sort of anime, in my opinion, is uh, Yoshiki Tomino's Gundam series, where the bad guys are the bad guys, kind of, you know, like the, the, the antagonist, the Republic of Xeon. But they are filled with characters who are sympathetic or who are sort of trapped by circumstance you know the the war and the killing is seen is, is as much of an enemy as as the sort of the people at the top brass who are who are uh, out for their own ends anyway i digress so here we go and you know that this is a mission because it's a map okay So the enemy has invaded the Windmill Plaza and have taken almost the entire area over. And okay, we're going to deploy from the south, as usual. Alright, move from cover to cover, gotcha. Our goal is to eliminate the, eliminate the enemy leader. Be careful. There may be enemy units hiding behind the buildings. So yeah, this is going to be another tutorial level, obviously. Telling us about lines of sight and ambushes. Yep, and enemies won't show up in the command me mode menu, so be careful as you make your advance. Okay. So again, welcome to Alicia, have to live. We have 20 turns to take it. <laughs> So we three CP again, or do we have more? Oh, okay. So we've got Alright, take out the boss man, got it. More tutorial about damage. Set amount of damage a unit has sustained is healed each turn. If unit is taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. That's an interesting thing. So, like many tactical RPGs of, of this type, be it an XCOM type game, or things like Tactics Ogre, or especially things like... Um... Oh, God, I forget the name of the game series. Fire Emblem. Uh, units can die, and they die forever. Which is... Uh... A pretty rough thing to happen. Um, so you got to be careful. So we're going to lead off with uh, with Alicia. And we're going to get to cover as fast as we can. 
about sight lines. I think I've already mentioned this. When a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over his or her head. The line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning that the line points in the direction of the enemy's location. Use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. So let's get down. Okay. So. About attacking enemies. Pressing the bumper buttons while in targeting mode. We'll automatically lock on to the next enemy within firing range. Crosshairs will turn red when a unit is aiming at an enemy has clean line of sight on the target. Use the guideline to see if they are extends from the gun to see when firing the obstacle, see if it's blocking the shot. Okay. The line is interrupted, it means the unit's attacks will be locked. When the crosshairs are on an enemy, the attacker's unit weapon specifications Ooh, I can't read. Appear at the top of the screen. Versus Purs. Versus Purs shows damage against human targets. Vizarmor shows damage against tanks and armor. The symbol will indicate the effectiveness against different types of targets. A circle will indicate the weapon is effective. A triangle indicates the weapon will only give slight damage. X means the target is the weapon is ineffective against that type of target. Area shows whether the uh, it's an area effect attack. And shot shows the number of rounds fired per attack. Okay. This we know. To kill is the number of shots in order needs to connect in order to defeat the target. In this case, of the five rounds fired, two must hit to defeat this unit. Uh -huh. This number only takes shots that hit the center of the crosshairs into account. Misses or hits to other areas of the target are not taken into account in this number. Provides an estimate you can use when selecting a target and can be used to line up headshots and critical attacks. So let's see if we can uh, exemplify this. So we've got to kill seven, shots five. Now if we drop the crosshair over his head, if the... Oh, if the the controller will uh, will uh, cooperate if we hit his head with two with two of our five shots then he'll go down so this is the risk and reward as you can see oh god it's so sensitive can I change the sensitivity not in the middle of the game so you want to try and I mean you can try and aim for the uh, for the head but the You'll see that there's about half of my circle is a miss. So I'm taking a gamble here, but I'm going to give it a go. Bang, bang, gotcha! Ha-ha! Now. Uh, I've got plenty of action points left, and it looks like we're alright for... Uh... Oh, what's that? Is that a nice plant? So I'm actually going to try and advance. Get a little bit close to the enemy. Duck. And yeah, okay. We'll end the current action there. Now I could Rambo it again with Alicia, but I'm not. I tend to just use two. The other ten Watchmen can just sort of stand there. So let's move Welkin up and see if we can show you another aspect of this game. I'm gonna get right, right up in this guy's grizzle. Whoa. No, don't end the current action. That was stupid. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Now, this guy is right there. This guy is immune to headshots, so I can't take him out. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take this guy out. And, oof. Oh, can we do it? Bang, bang. Yep. Got him. Yes. Yes. And we will... End that action there. So we are right on top of this dude. But I'm going to move Alicia up with my final point. And what's going to happen is when this guy stands up to attack. Oh. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. He's going to shoot back. This is so goofy. And then in the current action and as soon as this guy stands up to move he's just going to get riddled with bullets so 
Welkin will shoot back at centre mass. And he's just going to shoot him in the back as he tries to run away. Beautiful. This guy's going to shoot. Alicia's looking a little bit worse for wear, but... Ooh. So we're going to um, shoot and move with Welking, because we're going to take this guy out. Bang. Okay. Now we can't shoot again, but we can move, so let's position up. Let's move up with a bit of caution, cover to cover. See what we got in terms of nasties. Now, you have to be careful when moving, because if I move back, it doesn't matter which direction I move in, that AP gauge is going to drain. So I want to get up to the corner of that building and see if we've got any nasties waiting to jump us. So let's move up to the uh, up to the cover here. And what we're doing is we're just scouting to see now. Dare I move closer? Dare I move closer? Oh shit! Oh, that was a mistake. That was a terrible mistake. But uh, we'll crouch and we'll end the turn there. Okay, so Welkin is pinned by two guys, but that's not too much of a problem. Because Alicia, we are going to run her up. Like an MF fucking Rando, get her into cover here and take this guy out because he's not in cover. I'm going to try and do the same trick again. Drop the sights over his head and take him out. Simple as. Good stuff. Now, facing is actually quite important. I believe they will only fire in front of them, so you do need to make sure you're putting them in the right direction. Now, well, can. Let's advance you up and <coughs> take this guy out, or try to anyway. Run, 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 and down, and oh, no. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so we're done with our turn. Uh, we're in a pretty good crossfire position, and we'll see where they come from. They might come from behind. This guy's going to try moving. That was a mistake. <laughs> and that's their CP done. And that's the end of the mission. Yeah, we took them all out. I love the mechanical design in this game. The tanks look so awesome. Yeah, that ain't gonna do much. Okay, so we are outnumbered and outgunned. Welkin, 
まずいな今の僕たちの武器では戦車に歯が立たない悔しいけど一旦ここは交代しましょうメルキンこの大通りから東の路地に抜けてそこなら戦車も追ってこられないはずだからあとなるべく障害物に隠れながら移動してね戦車の砲撃をまともに食らったらおしまいよそういやウィーストガナトライアンロンウェルキンテストネーション Now, you can technically take out a tank.、Uh, oh, yeah, I've got to get there. You can technically take out a tank with small arms fire.、Uh, you saw the glowing blue radiator on the back of it. You can shoot into that to a weak point that will、uh, eventually take a tank down. But. <laughs> What are we going to do? So we can stay down here and move with that. I think that's what we're going to have to do.、Um, and move our other boyos into cover. You're going to be sensible about it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Stickers. Okay, let's、uh, keep going. Oh, we're under fire here. Okay. Fucking hell. Gonna get taken out at this rate. To kill seven, to kill two. Oh, he's quite a long range, but let's give it a go. Alright. He's gonna get to shoot back. Welkin. I thought there was、uh, buildings, but it's not. It's just.、Uh... Oh, God, should I just run him? No, his health's too low. Okay, let's give him some covering fire. Oh, shit! Oops. I was retreated. Okay. <laughs> Phew. Well, that was not great. Okay. Okay, Alicia. Let's roll. Oh, God. I forgot the town watchman is so very, very weak. Jesus Christ. Can you just please not? Now, this tank's gonna roll up like a motherfucker. More chance of platin snot, mate. Let's see if I can give you an example of、uh, attacking a tank with small arms fire. Okay, Alicia. Okay. To kill shots.、Mm. We can see if it works. Probably won't. No. That feature is disabled for the moment. Anyway, let's run up. Move, 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 move. Oh boy, oh boy! Oh, you're nearly dead. No. Let's finish taking this guy out. Okay. 
And hopefully... Oh, ah, go, run, 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 run. Oh, I think we made it. Yep. That was sloppy. That was messy. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, pretty hopeless looking. Grenade in socks, covered in sticky grease. Okay. Yeah. Four turn C rank. Could have done better. Ah oh well. I never said I was good at games. In fact, that's part of the, my charm. So here we go. Escape from Brule. Okay, so I think we'll go through this uh, this next set of pages and call it a day. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Wow, you guys are evil. Oi, Niro, go to Darks no no, my dear Gary. Nanda, my Darks is in Doctor Noga, Dori, the Abrax, Yedato, Motoza, Baboni, Abrax, Darks, Jimmy. You guys can just shoot her, you know. What are you hitting with? I'm okay. I'm okay. But... Marsa-san... Marsa-san! I can't. I'm going to start the war. I'm going to kill you. To say that... ここで寝かせておくわけにはいかないよ。かなりの数の帝国兵が町に侵入してきている。風車と広場が制圧されるのは時間の問題だ。兄さん、庭の納屋に行きましょう。納屋に父さんたちが残してくれたものが私たちを
今の時代の戦車と比較しても水準以上の火力と機動力は発揮できるはずです父さんの戦車が動くのか兄さんは気候訓練コースを選択していましたねああ高校の時一応ねマーサさんを連れてきてください戦車に乗せて安全なところに避難しましょう戦車は私が運転します兄さんは指示をお願いします伊沙羅発進の準備はいいかエンジン始動エーデルワイスも発進準備整いましたアリシアたちが住民を逃がすためにまだ交戦中かもしれない風車灯広場を抜けてアリシアと合流してから町を脱出しようエーテルワイス軍発進So yeah, <laughs> they've got a tank. <laughs> they've got their own emergency tank because his dad was a general and her dad was the engineer. Now, yeah, of course, it's a bit contrived and against trope. You know, going back to Gundam. I, oops, I accidentally fell into my dad's giant robot. And I also like the fact that this thing's supposed to have been a relic from the previous war, but it's more advanced and capable than modern tanks. <sighs> Ooh, anime. Oh, I love you so. So here we're going to learn about tankery. Also, this tank only needs two crew members. So it's got a lot of mod cons like, uh, I assume, an assisted targeting system and an auto loader and... <laughs> yeah. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating towns people will be in danger. Probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous the rural town watch, we'll do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. Town watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We can use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. So, we got to defeat the main gate. we got to take out the tank and keep Welkin and Alicia alive. Now, Welkin... Welkin is the tank. Alright, sorry. Didn't mean to talk over you. So, if you don't let the Edelweiss get destroyed. このもんを破られたら避難中の町の人たちに大きな犠牲が出るでしょう。これより我が自警団はこのもんを死守します。絶対にこのもんは破壊させません。Okay. Sandbags and hand grenades. Moving behind sandbags into slits and crouch. The defenses are maximized and extra damage from headshots is negated. Focus on defense and ending one's turn. It's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. So while your hand grenades are used, explosive da power can destroy sandbags. Press the X button. To cycle among your options, hand grenades. In this battle, Alicia has some. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase units will recover one hand grenade. I'll just generate them. Just pull them out of their ass. So we have got. Hmm. 
The tank's not on the field yet. Hmm. So this is an assault troop. They have a uh, assault rifle and can really do a number on uh, on these guys. So let's see if we can get maybe a town watchman to a crossfire position. This could end up getting him killed, but we're going to give it a go. Right, looks like he's not in range. So let's move him up to the front sandbags. Get him in cover. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. So we've spotted some more dudes. Are at quite extreme range here, so... Ugh, yeah, and they are hard to kill. I'll shoot back. Yep. End the current action. <laughs> yeah, we just need to set up a... Uh, Defensive position. I think this is a tower next to us. Let's get up there. Come on, Come on Alicia. Yeah, it's a tower. We should be able to climb it. There we go. Now, unfortunately, towers do not confer. Uh, cover, but, oh, I can finally aim with the D-pad, that's good. Let's keep the uh, town watchman there. We are massively outnumbered. Okay. Okay. Come on, boys. Come on to us. Uh, let's give Alicia another try. Let's see if we can soften these guys up. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I mean, Jesus, I don't know how long it's going to take for Welkin to turn up in the tank. And here they come. I'm going to say these uh, units are basically indestructible. Go on, get out of cover. Yeah. That's what we're looking for, a good crossfire. So when they come into range, they just get rained on. Whoop. Yep. Here's this dude, he's already taken a few shots, I should have. Oh, oh he's running. Oof. Wow, you're a dickhead. Scout. <laughs> nice try there, Chief. And he had one of the uh, command points. <clears throat> okay. About Ragnid. 
Small amount of damage healed at the start of each player phase. Sometimes the unit has suffered heavy damage needs to help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. Suffering from gunshot wounds, contusions, explosion damage, burns. Ask your doctor if Ragnade is right for you. Another product of Ragnite or Ragnade combines a healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Select it with X and then the right bumper button and select the target. Place the crosshairs on a nearby ally. Or place one on one to heal yourself. So yeah, it's a first aid kit. So we need to heal that dude. But to do that, we need to make sure he doesn't just die from <laughs> die from being killed. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh shit, I don't like the fact that she doesn't have any cover. We'll leave you where you are. We're gonna move. We're gonna shoot with you from here. You'll shoot back. We've gotta take him out. If I'm gonna heal my dude. Come on, do me proud. Finish him off. There we go. Good out. And uh, you fella. Ragnade. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Shit. Ah, fucking bollocks. You can get cut down so fast. We can't do much about that tank. Best we can do is hold out. Oh, fucking god damn it. Move your troops in. Yep, he'll get cut down. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, boy. It's tank time. So let's just concentrate. Let's roll. The tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. It makes them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume 2 CP when selected in command mode. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Initially, tanks quite AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the turn's end. Yeah, so uh, be careful. So let's smash through this here wall. Boom! Alright, Bucket You've got a fucking tank! <laughs> yeah. It's got a bump sticker on it. My other ride's a tank, too. Now, 
Now, again, here's the thing, like, if this is, like, <laughs> not Switzerland, the idea of having your civilian population armed after they've enlisted in national service is not unusual, but being able to take, keep a tank, that's a bit beyond things. Being able to keep a tank with a full-stocked magazine of live ammunition, <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're in a rush. Let's get into position. Okay. So we can't see the tank. But what we can do is we can use these mortars. I'm not bad attacking with the tank. Three major means of attack. Anti-armor shells, explosive mortar rounds, and mounted machine gun. Anti-armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor, such as tanks. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blasted up against ground units. Mortars travel along an arc. Aim for the center of multiple foes for major results. Be aware that ammunition is limited. Machine gun is best suited to striking enemies that are too close for the mortar. Used to intercept incoming enemies. Export to switch weapons. So we're going to take out this cover, basically. So we want to drop the drop the shot just behind this dude's ass. That should do. Boom! That's their cover taken out. That's that guy down. Uh, the tank's HP. They have separate health totals. Body HP and tread HP. Attacking the tank's body and main cannon will reduce the body HP and the blows to the treads reduce tread HP. If the HP reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. If THP reaches zero, AP is drastically cut. It's easy to deal damage to the treads than the body, even with grenades. Healing a tank before taking it out, or halting a tank, sorry, before taking it out, is at your leisure maybe a strategy that's both safe and sensible. Hmm. Gloomy radiator, plate at the back is a radi is a tank's weak point where even standard bullets do reasonable damage. Yeah, unless the mission says no, you don't get to do damage with your reasonably small bullets. I knew that this was a mechanic, but no, we got a handhold. We're gonna make Ooh, tanks are so scary. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. Cover your ass! So this guy... Um, I have no AP, so I may as well just fix the current turn because I can't even turn. Now... Do I spend the AP to get around... Let's try and grenade this guy out. Hopefully I can switch weapons. Yes, switch weapons during. I think that's what I should have done with that dude, so I can grenade this guy out of cover. Drop it down around his fucking head. There you go. Enjoy the fireworks. Bitch. And let's... Oh, he took him out. Let's at least try and get a firing arc on this guy. So, so we'll just move off straight on forward. Turn. Try and get behind this dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Anti-armor rounds. Fire. Looks like we got them, boys and girls. So this guy, yeah, he'll shoot at me, and since he's hitting my front armor, it's going to be less than effective. This guy is going to try and move, but my dudes are in cover, so a little bit futile. Oh, you're dead. Oh, yeah, you're done for, mate. 
And he's taken out. Okay, let's finish it. Let's get right up his backside. And there you go. Tank down. Yes, me and my large tank. Yeah. Bought some time. Right out. <laughs> Christ. Born in a tank. Ew! Girl juice all over the inside of the tank. Ew! Gross. Popped out as easy as a cork from a bottle. Not too bad. And we'll finish up with this here uh, cutscene.帝国軍の奇襲を受けたブルールは襲撃からわずか戦争が始まってこうなる覚悟をしていたつもりだったでもね自分の生まれ育った町が壊されてたくさんの人たちが一瞬で死んでしまったこんなことが起きるなんて今でも信じられない気ままに生きているように見えるトリアムシたちも自
Um, our plucky young heroes are thrust into war. I'm going to quickly save the game here. Over the prologue. Yes, I'll overwrite it. Um, so, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like this game. I like the fact that it is, um, uh, as I've said multiple times before, not too shying away from the war, even though it is very anime about the way it goes about it. You'll see that all the way through the game. I have other comments to make about certain aspects of the story and some of the characters and some of the, the design choices in terms of gameplay and in terms of like art design. Though, for the most part, the art design is very strong. Uh, I hope that I'll be able to get further than I have before in this game. And if anyone's going to be watching me do it, welcome along for the journey. But until then, toodle pip.